So you find yourself in beautiful surroundings and you think you just want to sit down and have a beer, especially if you've got an entire case of what most people consider to be the best beer in the world. Can you imagine that? A whole case? This whole case? And it's mine? It's mine! 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 Anyway, what I was saying is that you have an entire case of beer, you have a glass, you have the scenery, but the problem is you don't have a bottle opener. I'll tell you, if you're anything like me, that's not going to be a problem. So, maybe if you have find yourself in this situation, let me show you how to get the sucker open with the least amount of pain possible. You see, so what you're going to want to do is the idea of opening a bottle. I mean, it's obviously everybody has done this, but just to understand what you need to do. What you need is you need to apply pressure on the underside of the lid to pop it off. And that is by a very basic science. You talk about levers and fulcrums. So when you have either a spoon, you have, you have a lighter, you have another bottle, that's your lever, okay? Your fulcrum comes in when you have to keep this object at a point so that you can lever it open. You understand? So that's what we're going to do. So with a spoon, it looks like this. So with a, a lighter, lighter, like so, okay? And if you use another bottle, it's the same story. You have your bottle cap against another bottle cap, you see. But now the only problem is you need something on the underside to keep this lever in place while you force the cap open. So this is what you do. It's a very simple handhold, and I'll show you the position for all three objects. But bear in mind, you could use pretty much any object that can withstand the strain of actually pressing the bottle cap open. Here's how you do it. Probably the easiest one, a spoon or a back of a spoon, a knife, a butter knife. Please do not use a steak knife. So what you're gonna want to do, bottle hand okay you have three fingers and you close with your thumb okay you can see now this finger becomes the fulcrum so you've got to grip very tightly with the rest of your fingers you take your object you put it in and this finger locks into place so it, uh, whatever your lever is is not going anywhere because it's settled fine this is how you know it's perfect and then all you do is you push downwards on this while making absolutely sure that this finger does not move for any reason whatsoever. You can see over here. And then obviously you're just gonna to wanna to push down on this and it's gonna pop this lid right off. Now, of course, if you have, if you have a lighter nearby or something that looks similar, same story. The grip, okay, like so. You have the lighter that is now Oops, let's do that from a different angle. You have the lighter that comes in, okay? And then your, your fulcrum finger sticks. That's not going anywhere. Can you see that? It's, it's absolutely stiff. And this finger must not move. Once again, I just push down on this and then it will literally pop open just that easily. But let's have a look at the last one. Now, this is a, I tell you what, I've, I've only done this due to pure necessity, but I found out along the way that it's actually a pretty neat party trick. So I will open the bottle with this one. I have a bottle. Remember, the weak spot on a bottle, on a bottle cap, is the upward pressure in it, not the sideways pressure. It's as solid as a rock this way. Same story. Okay, but remember this thing weighs slightly different than the previous two objects. So you clamp it, you, you make sure it's sitting underneath and your, let's do it again like this, and your finger clamps the bottle in. I can't let it go because this is going to be slightly heavy, but your finger clamps it in like that. I hope you can see that. Yeah. So now all you have to do is push down this bottle and it's open. As simple as that. Even girls can do it. It doesn't require any strength. It just requires a bit of technique. That's all it does. And uh, if you're like me, that means you can now sit back, 
in this beautiful, beautiful background and just sit and enjoy a well a hard earned beer. You know, this is the point where I would say I wish guys could taste this, but I really don't. I'm actually okay, okay just tasting this all by myself. Oh, it's delicious. Hey, Tian! Whoa, West Veteran, I've heard a lot about this beer. Can I have one? Ha 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 ha!